So today, this is going to be the second episode. I'm not sure if I announced it in my other Halloween fall video, but this is the second episode of hashtag, hashtag Falling for Fall with Beauty by Jillian Jules. No, that's not it. Oh, I remember it. F, law number four, F, J, J. Falling for Fall with Jill with Jilly and Jules. So today I'm going to be doing another Halloween DIY makeup pair outfit. Um, this is going to be my actual Halloween costume with my friends when I go to a Halloween dance. But me and Juliana are being something together. I'm not going to say it because maybe I'll do a tutorial on that too. But I'm going to show you my costume. I didn't buy an exact costume. I bought pieces and put it together and probably all of it cost... I did it all from Amazon, so probably all of it cost $10 to $15, but with shipping and stuff for each product, then it would be like $20 to $25. But that's not that bad for a Halloween costume, in my opinion. But anyways, let's just get into the video. First thing I'm doing for the makeup look is I'm going to be applying a concealer. This is a duo concealer by Sheer Cover, and I'm going to use this concealer as my foundation. Um, I think it gives me a really nice and clean um, complexion, so I'm just using a flat top brush from Essence. So I'm putting that all over my face and even on my neck because you do not want your neck to be a different color than your face. That would be a little weird. Now I'm setting everything with a powder by Covergirl. And this will keep my face from getting shiny and it'll keep my foundation and concealer on the whole night. I'm sorry, my lighting was not working well, so my face is a little bit shiny. Now I'm just going to be applying a pinky kind of rosy color blush by Revlon. It's in the color Racy Rose and I love this blush. I'm applying it to the apples of my cheeks, going up to my temples and applying it onto my forehead also. This will give me a nice kind of cartoonish and smiley effect without smiling the whole entire night. I probably will because I um, love now I'm just contouring very slightly to make my face kind of look more defined. So I'm just using a using an elf bronzer and I'm applying that on my temples and right under my neck like right on my jaw bone and this will give me a nice small kind of Now priming my eyes to get ready for the eyeshadow I'm going to be using my e.l.f. eyelid primer so I'm going to be priming my eyes like I'm doing right now I'm 
I'm just blending it in with my fingers. And it's in the color sheer, so this will give actually a little bit of color to my eyelids. And I'm bringing it down to my lower lash line because we will be applying some eyeshadow there also. Now in my quad from Revlon, I think, yeah, Revlon, I'm taking the champagne color and putting that all over my lid. And I'm also going to be highlighting with a white kind of color. Now I'm taking a silver color from a Claire's palette and applying that into my crease to give it a little bit more dimension to my eye. I don't want to go crazy because the guy in the head is a boy, but I just want to add a little bit of feminine touch to it. Now on my waterline, I'm applying a black color. And it's a silvery kind of black color. I'm applying that on my lower lash line and making a sort of wing on my top lash line. And I'm just using an angle brush to do this. Um, I will be using a um, liquid eyeliner on the day of Halloween, but you know, I'm not really good at that yet, so. And I'm trying to wing it out ever so slightly, just to give a little bit of an winged effect, but not doing a full wing. Now I'm playing some mascara. This is a CoverGirl waterproof mascara. So my mascara will stay on all night, and I'm applying that on my top and lower lashes. Now I'm just filling my brows how I usually do it, using a Revlon Brow Dream Brow. I don't know what that's called. Brow Fantasy, something like that. So after my brows are nice and defined, I will apply some lipstick and this is just a Claire's lipstick is a red lipstick um and this is from the Lipman collection I have no clue where I got this I'm so sorry I like found it behind my makeup caddy I'm using it and this is a really small kind of lip gloss it's a red color and I'm kind of using this to put in the center of my lips and also to kind of use as a liner because my lips are Horrendous. 
right now because I'm really bad at putting on a big, bright colored lip. So after I'm finished with my lips, I'm going to get onto my favorite part of the look and it's kind of really self-explanatory. I'm just taking a black eyeshadow and dabbing it on my nose in a little tiny dot as the pet nose and then doing little whiskers on the sides of my nose and then filling in my brows like dabbing um, on top of my brows the black, the excess black. I don't know what like a cat. <laughs> I will look like a cat very soon when I get on my costume and my headpiece. So that is the completed makeup look. So now let's move on to the hair. Super easy for the hair. I just bought this really cute headband. You could DIY it if you want. Just buy a black headband and get some felt and kind of make it into a hat. Or you could use a bow, a red bow, if you don't want to go buy one on Amazon. And I just put my hair on a high ponytail and my hair is naturally curly, but you could curl it if you want. And the final costume. I got everything from Amazon and just my um, leggings are from. I don't know what shoes I'm going to wear that day. I might wear combat boots or black and white heads. So please help me find out what I should wear. So leave comments down below about shoe ideas. Bye guys!